sharing some of my favorite weapon builds here in the Black Ops 6 beta. Obviously, we're still going to have some weapons coming to the game in weekend number two, but I felt it necessary since a lot of people on the channel are, in fact, playing the beta right now. I wanted to share what I've been cooking up for you guys, get a little sneak peek at some of the builds you're going to be seeing when the full game launches. That being said, these are the top five. We don't have access to many weapons, but I've done a fair share of using just about every single one. So first and foremost, I did just want to quickly share what I'm running for my perks and wild card because that's one of the most common questions I feel like I get asked so far in Black Ops 6. This is the exact combination I run. You're going to want to put on Flatjack Dexterity double time. Then you're going to want to throw on Perk Greed and then throw on Gung Ho. That way you do get that specialty enforcer there for the perk so i just wanted to make sure i quickly shared that with you guys so at number five i'm gonna be sharing my c9 or mp5 setup with you guys i'm gonna explain exactly why i'm choosing each attachment for my first one it's the muzzle with the normal suppressor here the suppressor is just awesome for aggressive weapons like this one obviously it just keeps you off of the mini map which at the end of the day is important when for running aggressive style of weapons that next attachment is a barrel with the long barrel just because it does have a pretty easy recoil pattern one of the downsides of the weapon is going to be the damage range there's not much to talk about i can't share any detailed statistics with you guys but the long barrel will essentially make this a more viable medium range option even though it's an smg my next attachment to magazine as always with every single call of duty game i play running a magazine is a preference you don't have to run this you can swap this out for something else personally i feel very comfortable with the 40 round mag here but you can go with the flip mag if you want to just personally the 40 is my preference for that rear grip here you're going to want the quick draw grip for a large three tick increase to your aim down sight speed this is going to be a very highly used attachment for all the smgs in the game especially when it comes to launching because you're going to want the fastest snappiest aim down sight speed as possible in order to compete in the close ranges you're going to want to get your gun up before everyone else on the map so the quick draw just makes sense here and for my final attachment you are going to want the balanced stock to target even more mobility Obviously, like I said, it's a very good aggressive SMG. Therefore, having aim walking speed and overall movement speed are just going to benefit your cause on the map. So it's a pretty easy explanation here. I've seen some people swap this out for quite a few different attachments in the stock category. Personally, I've found the most success success with the balanced stock. So I know it's kind of hard to see here, but if you guys need to pause the video to copy them down, I don't have like one of those preview images to show you all the attachments now will be the time to copy those down let's jump over to number four so at number four we're going with the aims 85 which i basically called the krig six in my aims video a very low recoil i'm gonna say slower paced assault rifle probably best used for your slower paced players because of the recoil pattern and the good damage range you can beam people across the map but at the same time if you get up and close and personal with an smg or even something like the xm4 you're probably not going to win the gunfight because by default it has a slower damage value and just a slower fire rate altogether just makes sense it's going to be a little slower killing in the closer ranges my first attachment here is an optic where i have the merlin mini the merlin mini is personally my favorite optic in the game right now i know there's going to be plenty more not only in weekend two but at launch just a normal reflex site so it is a preference there's a lot of attachments you can run here feel free to run whatever you're comfortable with so just like with the c9 i did want to increase that damage range well in a little bit of a different circumstance here the c9 helped you at medium range where the long barrel on the aims 85 is going to help you at long range. I did say in the intro that this weapon's really good at long range, so it makes sense. Increasing the damage range here is just going to significantly help your cause. Now for the under barrel here, I do like to run the normal vertical grip. It's going to control your horizontal recoil control, which is really the only recoil on the weapon. It does like to bounce side to side. The vertical is very, very manageable on this weapon. So by controlling the horizontal recoil control, it makes it a very straight shooter, which effectively makes it the best it can possibly be in the long ranges once again i'm choosing a magazine here and it's another one that i'm gonna say is a preference i am going with the extended mag feel free to run whatever you want i have seen some people use the flip mags it does give it an increase to your aim down sight speed so if you're looking for a little faster pace i would recommend that but personally i am a big fan of the 40 round mag and for my final attachment here you're gonna want the quick draw grip once again a large increase to aim down sight speed yes it's not the most aggressive choice but you are going to need to get your weapon up quickly in an event of a close range engagement and it does make the aim down sight very very snappy at that so once again here's all those attachments you guys can copy all these down if you guys want to 
I'm not going to act like this one's overpowered, but I really feel the Craig. It Deep down, it feels like the Craig 6, and it performs very, very similarly, and I think it's a great comparison. At number three, I'm going to have the XM4. This one is very, very reliable. It's good at just about everything close range medium range long range with this particular setup that's exactly what it's targeting with some of the attachments in this game you can definitely target things like simply long range or very aggressive play but i went for a versatility approach with the xm4 i even saw some pros talking about how the xm4 is one of the most reliable weapons they've ever used it just hits right so for my optic here the merlin mini is going to make an be making an appearance once again i did just say it's my favorite optic in the game right now. And like I said last time, you can run whatever you want. There's plenty of good choices here. At the end of the day, it is going to come down to preference. For a muzzle, I am choosing the suppressor to stay off the minimap once again. So with this one being as versatile as it is, you can be very sneaky around the map. You can shoot people and run away and they're never gonna have any idea of where you're at. You're not gonna show up on the mini map. It's a very good weapon to end up streaking up with while still being a very good close and aggressive assault rifle option. For my next attachment, once again, the long barrel. I mean, I sound like a broken record here, but it does help the damage range, which in turn just helps the versatility of the weapon. It has zero cons to running it. So at the end of the day, what more do you have to ask for? You're getting a better long range weapon while not sacrificing anything in return. For my next attachment here, I am going with the precision foregrip. This is a definitely a different attachment. It does control horizontal recoil control along with aiming idle sway. So I'm not a fan of aiming idle sway, but it doesn't seem extremely relevant in this game. At the same time, it did need that recoil control. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten the opportunity to level up to the Ranger foregrip here. And personally, I think this is going to be the best under barrel. You're getting movement along with recoil control. But for now, the precision felt like enough. If you're still struggling with a bit of that recoil control, I would highly recommend the vertical grip as well. And my final attachment, once again, is a magazine with the extended mag. I'm not gonna get too deep here with it. You guys can run it if you want. This one has a lot of options, a fast mag three, an extended mag three. You can put a hundred round drum on this thing if you want to. Uh, it is gonna come down to preference though. So here's my attachments for my very reliable XM4. Copy these down. I actually think you guys are gonna enjoy this one and it's a very deserving number three weapon. At number two, we have the AK-74. I absolutely love this weapon. So as you guys can see, I'm only only level 20 but that's all that's required of you to have this insane setup this weapon has upwards of 43 levels i think and you only need i think actually level 14 might be all you need so let's get into these attachments this one's a little different for my first attachment here it is the long barrel again but it's necessary this weapon by default has a pretty crappy damage range i'll be the first to say it it's a pea shooter at range even with the long barrel but an absolutely monstrous medium and close range weapon due to the high damage values but increasing the damage range just makes it even better for that under barrel here you're gonna want the vertical grip that's for horizontal recoil control this weapon just like the aims has a lot of side to side shake but when you throw this on, it's a very straight shooter and very easy to use. So it's pretty good at just about every range. All right. I don't want to hear anything in the comments about me sounding like a broken record because I do feel like it. The extended mag, use it. Don't use it. It's the preference, you know? For the rear grip, we have the quick draw. Nothing's really different yet. Next attachment is going to be a different one, but the quick draw is going to help your aim down sight speed. If you're going to be playing aggressively, you're going to need attachments like this one in order to get your gun up quicker. Having a fast aim down sight speed obviously is important. And in this case, I felt like it was extremely necessary. And our final attachment is rapid fire. So this has no cons to running it while speeding up the fire rate. And this is the attachment, in my opinion, that really puts it over the top and definitely secures the spot at number two. This one attachment really makes this weapon that much better. It is good without rapid fire, but as you can imagine, rapid fire makes the TTK that much faster. If you guys haven't seen my AK-74 gameplay yet, it's on the channel. I highly recommend you see it because you get to see what this thing can do in action. This thing fries. And in my opinion, definitely deserving of the number one assault rifle in this game so another one that i highly recommend you copy down you guys are going to absolutely love this thing and by far controls the assault rifle category right now without a doubt in my mind so copy these ones down give it a try let's get to number one at number one i'm sure absolutely no one is shocked we have the jackal pdw the weapon that's taken over the black ops 6 beta personally 
I'm not a fan of running around with metal weapons. As you can see, I don't even have it completely leveled up, but you truthfully don't even need attachments on this thing for it to be good. The one that you get in the presets when you're level one was extremely good. So there's not really any way you can go wrong, but you can definitely make it better. And that's exactly what we're gonna be covering. So for my first attachment here, I am going with the suppressor once again. This one is as aggressive as it gets and the suppressor keeps you well lost on the mini map. You're gonna shoot some people, run away, turn around, shoot them in the back and just keep repeating the process. The suppressor is a very good option for a weapon like this one, especially for extremely aggressive players. For the next attachment, I have the Ranger foregrip. I just talked about it with the XM4. This is going to give you not only movement speed, but also recoil control, the perfect attachment for this weapon. Not only are you going to be able to shoot across the map now, but you're also going to be absolutely zooming. I'm sure you've seen people fly around the map with this weapon, and this is one of those attachments that helps it do so. Again, the extended mag, I'm not going to talk about it. Run it if you want, run it if you don't. You can go with the 50 round drum, normal extended mag, fast mag, fast mag 2, whatever you want. Choose whatever you want here. For my rear grip, I am going with the ergonomic grip. That right here is going to give you aim down sight speed, sprint. Uh, slide to fire speed and dive to fire speed those are new ones that one's going to be a little trouble giving me a little trouble with rolling off the tongue but more or less it's just going to help your sprint to fire speed while you're sliding or sprint to fire speed while you're diving it's the aim down i mean everything that you need from this weapon comes with this attachment it's going to help your aggression even further and the final attachment here is the balanced stock that's going to give you well even more mobility even more movement just flying around the map strafing jumping sprinting whatever you're trying to do this attachment touches on it so at the end of the day there's a reason this one's the most overpowered weapon in the game and it's simply the movement and with these attachments you guys should have no problems and for the final time in this video here's all those attachments once again copy these down if you guys are looking to be a meta merchant these are the attachments i highly recommend this is what you're seeing all the pros one run this is what you're seeing all the sweats run banger setup thank you guys so much for watching to the end i want you guys to make sure you hit the like and subscribe button for me hitting the like button will help push this video to other people looking for the best setups in black ops 6 it will help push the video through the algorithm telling people that they should also see this video i want you guys to go down in the comment section and tell me what your most used weapon is here in black ops 6 personally mine is actually the xm4 which is kind of surprising i'm sure a lot of people i'm sure is the jackal but i really enjoy that xm4 so once again thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one